<laughs> Want to make sure you're prepared to vote from having your sample ballot to mm -hmm. an umbrella. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's not worry about the no. umbrella. Don't let anything dissuade That's you right. from voting. Get out there and vote. Let them know what you think. Let them know how you feel <laughs> they about don't this. They want to hear what a lot of people think. <laughs> no, well, that's true, and, and uh, it's up to you guys. You know. But we do have the clouds of this next rainmaker coming our way, and they've worked their way, clouds have worked their way all the way offshore. The showers themselves are actually way back here in Alabama, the center of circulation just approaching Birmingham. This is a developing area of low pressure. Another will develop right here along the Gulf Coast, and together they will enter energize each other and head on up the coast to that nor'easter we've talked about for those same areas up in the northeast. But look at all the rain showers in our iPhone planner here from 47 to 52. There's not a lot of warming for tomorrow. It will not rain constantly, but it will rain enough to give us a quarter of an inch in just about all locations and perhaps in the blue color over a half an inch of precipitation. I also don't expect any thunder at all, but look how this low kind of turns the corner and zips right up the coast as it zips by it will give us that chance of rain. Then high pressure builds in behind it. That will actually help that storm energize itself and will give us pretty weather for the rest of the week right into the weekend before our next chance of any precipitation. We're 1234 for our next high tide. Low tide 640 in the morning. Our waning gibbous moon now difficult to see with the clouds. And you may not see sunrise first thing in the morning 647. But for mariners, there's a small craft advisory with a chance of showers. North winds at 20 to 25 knots and sea at four to six feet. By the time we get to Wednesday, low risk of rip current, more partly cloudy skies and northwesterly winds. Here's your first alert, live Doppler Max 11 forecast for tonight. Showers possible overnight, a 40% chance. That may be a little high, but we'll stick with it for now with cloudy skies. 46 should be the overnight low, just a very light breeze. From the 46 up to 56 for Tuesday, that's a 70% chance of precipitation, mainly in the middle of the day. 39 tomorrow night, 60 partly cloudy on Wednesday, 64 in sunshine on Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday, Veterans Day, sunshine all the way, temperatures back to the mid-70s, overnight lows from the upper 30s into the 40s and 50s, and it's never too early to work, look ahead into the weekend. Even though Veterans Day is on Sunday, the Veterans Day parade in Savannah is on Saturday. Our broadcast starting at 10.30 in the morning, parade steps off at 11, also on Saturday, the Savannah Christmas, or Christmas, Children's Book Festival. I'm going to pick up a couple of Christmas gifts. That's my plan. Mm -hmm. I'm back at Forsyth Park, though, once again. But that'll be on Saturday as well. Whatever you've got planned, get out there and vote tomorrow. Follow us on Twitter at Big John Weather. Thanks, John. Mm -hmm. I don't want to